Hello everyone, Alex Martin here. We are in the Old Mountain South headquarters. We've got my 5010 out here. We're actually gonna put some frame guards and I'm gonna show you guys how we do the whole process from the start to the end. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this thing and hopefully I can help you to install the whole guard. So uh, let's go for it. So we went from the frame guard extra. We actually went that way just because I like to have my bike fully covered a bit more than usual. So yeah, we went for the Chris Kyle unit. A big fan of that guy, so always good to have uh, him on the bike. And um, yeah. So step number one, cleaning the bike with alcohol. You don't really need any other material really. Just putting the alcohol into just a towel, whatever you have. Make sure that you don't have any kind of dust or any kind of mud in the, in the frame so you can put properly the frame guard and it's not gonna come out uh, soon or whatever. So this is the first step, make sure everything is pretty clean and yeah then we go to the second step so now that the bike is fully clean we're going to proceed to start with the process of applying the whole protector it's super simple as simple as just doing this no i'm just joking <laughs> uh, we're going to proceed it uh when you open the box actually you can you have some instructions then uh, where you can pretty much see where all the pieces go into the, the frames. So we're gonna proceed into starting with the upper frame. Uh, that's what I always and usually do, the bikes. And yeah, we're gonna start like this and then just keep on rolling. So what I normally do is to actually stick the middle point of the protector so you can see a little bit the length you have on the sides. So I know like sometimes if you're not like really used to do these kind of things uh, sometimes it, it's kind of hard to make it properly like straight so a good tip is kind of just put the the middle point um, from one side to the other so you can see both sides after um, if you're doing it properly But for example, we did a big custom. Um, we actually cut it uh, half uh, of the sticker. So what we did here is put it in both sides of the frame. This is one of the spots um, where I like to cover it just because you have your foot pretty close. Even if you have like your right foot on the front or on the back. Um, so all these spots are actually pretty good to cover them. Uh, then when you want to sell the bag, you just remove it and it's brand new, the paint. And, and it's good, you know, if you throw the bike or, or even if the bike just hits the ground pretty hard, this is gonna protect it. So I think it's, it's pretty good to actually just uh, have a bit of imagination and it's pretty easy to cut. So the only thing that you need to do is just measure it and make sure it fits in the frame and where the place you wanna put it. And it's a good thing, it's a good point to do this. We've got here a little piece which is clear, uh, which is it because I have the hose uh, touching the frame just in here and I can tell you that this is like the paint is not going to last at all. So it's a good option to just have a little piece wherever the, the cable is touching and we just apply it where, where the cable is and just we're going to fix the problem and it's going to be protected forever so it's such a good option. So once everything is applied um, and we have the whole protection set, the last thing I always do is put a bit of heat everywhere where we put all the protectors uh, and everywhere is applied. Uh, normally when there is curves and just for example here in the upper frame when there is this little curve, it's always good to put some heat on it 
so it's uh, gonna stay there and, I, and it's not gonna come um, come up or anything. So this is the last step I do. Uh, it's something that I really recommend to do, actually. So um, yeah, this is pretty much the last thing, and then you're ready to ride.